Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, thanks so much, Jay, for having me on. I've been looking forward to this all day. I got invited to the show. So excited to be here. So thanks for having me on. Absolutely. I'm excited to have you on. We get to talk today about my favorite subject, which is private money. But before we get on the subject of private money, first tell everybody, how'd you get into real estate? Uh, listen, Jay, I, I kind of fell into it just through sort of life experiences. Um, when I graduated from college, uh, my dad almost, who's an entrepreneur, my father almost ripped my head off when I went into the financial services world. Uh, my dad was in financial services. He was in, did employee benefits. And uh, so I followed his footsteps. I did internships for him when I was in college and I jumped in and got my series six license, my life and health licenses and things like that. Fast forward a few years, I was making a great six figure income as a 24 year old, but I realized that a lot of my best clients, my biggest clients did not have all their money in the stock market. They actually owned apartment buildings. They owned strip centers. They owned, uh, you know, rental properties. Uh, they leased those buildings out and were making positive cash flow. And it's, no matter how hard I tried, Jay, uh, I couldn't pry those dollars out of the real estate business and get them into the stock market. So I actually took notice and said, well, look, that you know, they must be up to something because they seem so married to those assets. They won't give them up the money in real estate. So I paid attention. Um, quickly, I, I realized that they were up to something and they had something that I, which was passive income. And uh, I quickly started learning about real estate, bought my first few investment properties, and ultimately decided to quit my job as a financial planner, cold turkey, uh, back in 2005 to jump into real estate full-time. And how old were you when you went full-time real estate? Uh, I was 29 years old. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I had a number of years of experience, but kind of doing both, uh, doing real estate on the side as a side hustle and still serving my clients in the financial services world. Uh, but one of the benefits, Jay, of that is when we're talking about, you, you know, your expertise and, and uh, your niche of private money, I was very fortunate, very age in my early 20s to have clients that were three and four times the old as I was, right? They were in their 60s, they were in their 80s. And I got very comfortable talking to people about private money, about capital, about raising money, deploying it, being in the stock market, talking about their financial goals, objectives, risk tolerance. I got very, very good at all that at a very young age. And so today, now I'm 45 years old, and that experience, which again, my father almost killed me for, for doing it, um, but that experience at a very young age has served me really well the last 10 years especially in raising money and doing much larger commercial deals. Yeah. Thank you.